Alright folks, I'm going to plug this tub in and put the feet on it. Man, that has been working on it. She's in there sanding the stairs right now, y'all listening to all that. But look at that tub, isn't that thing gorgeous? It's all fiberglass. But I'm just going to rub this tub in and get the drain set up and all that, you know, get the mixing valve in. The mixing valve is going to go on that wall right there. I'm just going to tie in with this uh, walk-in shower right here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to tie into the back of that and get, get my plumbing for this mixing valve off of that. Got it right here. Got it set up and ready to go. So all I've got to do is set the mixing valve. I've already got my height on it. I'm going to set it. And then I'm going to uh, start working on this drain. Look at this drain system they got. I mean, it's pretty. It's, it's that uh, oil rub bronze, too. So it's heavy duty stuff, too. So that ought to look really good. Make it dress it up really nice. And I picked out the knottier boards to go up top right here, of course, because you're going to see them over the tub. We like the knots. Hey, let me go in there and show you what I had us working on right now. Bless her heart, she's getting, she's getting after trying to knock some of the rough edges off of these stairs. Yeah, well, we got plenty of ladders. Yeah. Yeah, she's reaching uh, four foot and six inches off the ground. <laughs> yeah, but she's got it smoothed up. I'm talking about it's looking good, looking good. Yeah. Now we got, you know, 462 steps to go. Yeah, got a pretty good ways to go up and around, bottom, top, everything. But it's going to look good. Going to hit these right here pretty good and put some ball. Uh, I need to start on those. Some polyurethane on those, and then that way it'll be easier to clean. But we're not gonna we're not gonna clear coat all of this stuff. I mean, we could, but I, I don't think so. I'm thinking we're just gonna leave it natural because everything else is gonna just be natural. We're just <coughs> bless you. Need to get you a uh. dust mask. But that's what we're doing right now. Y'all hanging in. Let's see how it turns out. Yeet. All right. So I got it to a point yesterday, and I probably could have finished it, but I was. I was concerned about this uh, this fixture, you know, and I didn't want to go ahead and cover this wall and go ahead and put the trim up and all that stuff and then come back and, you know, it have a slow leak or something like that because these, these fittings right here are like, they have a gasket in it, like a rubber gasket. So you can, you can tighten these things too much and crush it or not tighten it enough and not get a good seal. And I don't, I like Teflon fittings. I don't like gaskets. So this is like a garden hose fitting right here that actually, you know, threads on to here. So I'm just not real, not real fond of that. But anyway, that's why I left the lumber off yesterday, the, the panels. And then that way I could come back this morning and check it and make sure you know, because if you do have a slow leak inside of a wall or something that's not going to show on the floor, then you're going to have problems. I mean, it could be just a drip every five minutes and it's still, I mean, it's, it's going to be a problem. But I, I think I'm good. There's no water there. There's no water there. I always like to check all my fittings and keep pressure on everything. The whole time that they were, you know, we were doing drywall and everything, I always keep pressure on these lines. And then that way, if you do, you know, knock a hole, you know, <clears throat> run a screw or finish a nail or whatever through this pipe, then you're going to see it. And then that way you can fix it before everything's finished. But we're okay on this right here. Everything should be good. Got my pipe through the floor right there. And they got this little... I call this a scutcheon that should cover that gap pretty good and what I want to do is just wait a little bit longer just to make sure but then I'm going to go ahead and start running my I'll have a bat to go around the cracks on all of this so it's going to be like a horizontal oh board and bat I guess instead of like vertical like like oh, I did on the wall in there but instead of having to purl the wall and then to run it up and down, I just elected to do this right here. And I think we're going to either go with a clear coat or stain it the same color as uh, 
as the cabinets. Hadn't really made up our mind yet. The floor covering is going to be this color right here. This is going to be the flooring. And we've been just trying to, you know, you want a little bit of contrast. So, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I don't know exactly what she's going to do. I don't know if we should leave this natural and just put a put a clear coat over it, but oh, that'll be on another video another time. But y'all hang in there. I'm going to get this thing finished and get everything trimmed out, and then I'll finish up. Oh. Finish everything up. But boy, look at those lights and that blue and in that lumber. That's pretty. Y'all hang in there. We're gonna make us a. We're gonna make this thing look good. All right, folks. There it is. I didn't plumb, oh, plumb the drain in. Matter of fact, I had it out while I go had the tub out. It was accidentally hit one of those faucets. Works really good. But uh, I didn't plumb the drain in on the tub because I want to be able to take it out and, and run the floor cover under it. That vinyl plank flooring and plus when we go to sand in and stain in or you know putting the clear coat on this I don't want to have to put a drop cloth and then work over that tub so I got it convenient where we just pull it up pick it up move it out of the way it's fiberglass it's super light so it's not a cast iron uh, tub so it's not super heavy but got the trim up got the bats covering the cracks and let me tell you it looks good look at all those knots and that pine and that blue and Maybe clear coat. Oh yeah, and I was talking about not trusting, trusting the gaskets on the back side of that mixing valve, so I put a handle right here. I just took that, took and cut that trim right there. And in that way, when I get ready to work on that, or look at it, I can just pull that bolt to the side, and I can check everything and make sure, you know, make sure those, those rubber gaskets aren't leaking because they're like a, it's almost like a, a washing machine hookup, you know, those pipes. I just don't trust that. I, I like to be able to see it. So I can check it and make sure everything's good on that. And then close it right back up. It's just that easy. Nothing to it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. One more down. One more little project. Just gotta do the finish on it. Putty, sand, and stain, and clear coat, or just clear coat. It's gonna be one beautiful house. Appreciate y'all.